In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix audio issues on your Xbox Series S or X, such as the sound not working, your mic not working, or buzzing noise or hearing yourself through your speakers. So press the X button on your controller, and from here we're going to scroll down and go to audio and music. Now once you're here, ensure your headset mic is turned on, ensure that your headset volume is turned up, and you want to make sure that your TV volume is turned up as well if you haven't done that already. Go to headset chat mixer and this essentially just means game volume versus party chat volume. So when it comes to this option, you want to ensure that it's kind of in the middle, but not over to one side too much or else in this case, if it were over to this side, you won't be able to hear people talk. And if it's all the way over to this side, you won't be able to hear your game. So make sure it's somewhere in the middle. Now, when it comes to mic monitoring, this is essentially a feature that allows you to hear yourself talking through your speakers so you can test your mic. But in most cases, you want this turned all the way down because you don't want to hear yourself. So let's now go back. And from here, we're going to go to settings in the top right. Then we're going to scroll down and go to devices and connections, controllers and headsets. And then we're going to go to these three dots, which is more options. Now you want to ensure that your Xbox controller is running the latest firmware. It even says to the right here, updates ensure you get the best performance out of your controller, headset, and chat pad. So be sure to update your controller now because if it's not, it can cause headset as well as microphone issues. Now let's go back and from here, we're going to go to general. We're going to go to volume and audio output. And if you see a little bit above where I'm clicked right now, speaker audio, make sure the HDMI audio is on the correct format. In this case, I'm using a headset, but if I unplug the headset, it should change here and it might go to stereo un uncompressed. So make sure you have stereo uncompressed if you're using your TV. Make sure you have it on headset format if you're using a headset. Most times it's just automatic though. Now for headset audio, we're going to select this. Now these are all a little bit different. I'd say for, you know, 90% of people using Windows Sonic for headphones or stereo uncompressed will be totally fine. So now we're going to go to advanced and additional options. And from here, we're going to go to volume and chat mixer. Now this is more so for people who are using a TV. If you select do nothing at the bottom, this will give you 100% volume to both the game and chat mixed together coming over your TV speakers. Whereas if you mute all other sounds, this will give you 100% volume to the chat and mute the game entirely. And these are kind of the in-between at 80% and 50%. So make sure to choose which one's best for you and let's go back. And if you are using your TV, you can change the party chat output to your speakers or you can select both if you typically use one or the other. So if you're still having problems at this point, some other things you could try is change out your HDMI cable and make sure that everything is plugged in properly, as well as making sure your mic isn't muted on your actual mic, because some headsets do offer a mute button on your actual headset, as well as making sure your volume is turned up. Hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.